new videos every day. Hi, my name is Amanda Love. I'm also known as the Barefoot Cook, and today I'm going to teach you how to easily make delicious greens. Greens are something that will really enhance your health and are very easy to make. I bought these greens at the farmer's market. Um, it's Swiss chard, but you could also use kale, collard greens, mustard greens, dandelion. Um, you can even eat turnip greens, um, cauliflower greens, uh, broccoli greens, arugula, spinach. All, there's all kinds of greens out there. So they're very easy to make. I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, first, I'm going to turn my pot on. I have just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot. And now I'm going to just quickly rinse the greens. So I have a bowl of water here and I'm just going to rinse them, get off any dirt or bugs. You could also put hydrogen peroxide in your water to help uh, remove any little bugs or parasites, um, but you don't have to. Okay. So now that I've rinsed the greens, I'm going to chop just a little bit of the stem off to the bottom, just the part that's a little brown. But these greens are really tender. They have really tender stems. Some stems of other greens like collards and kale are a little tougher. So you might not want to eat those. You can eat them. If you do, you need to cook them a little bit longer. So I'm just going to chop up the greens. Again, it's all in one bunch, so it's really easy. Okay, and I've added a little salt to my water, which is boiling. And I just put about an inch of water in the bottom of the pot. Now you could use a steamer basket a steamer insert, but you really don't need to. Uh, you could also um, blanch the greens and you could have the pot full of boiling water or broth. Um, that's another way to do it. But um, all you really need is like an inch of boiling water and that's going to steam the whole greens. So I'm going to go ahead and put the greens in the pot. I'm using a La Creuset pot. This is one of my favorite kind of pots to use. Um, it's enamel coated cast iron, and I really like the way it conducts heat. Um, it's a real quality pot. It's been around for a long time. This is the kind of thing that will uh, last forever. You can pass this on to your great, great grandchildren. So now I'm going to cover the pot and give it a couple of minutes and just let it steam um, even though the water's at the bottom, the water, the steam is going to come up and just cook the whole thing. So you'll see in a minute, all those greens, the big pile of greens is going to shrink down and be just a little bit of greens. So while our greens are cooking, I'll just tell you a little bit about why I eat greens. Greens are one of the most healing, healthy, amazing foods. Um, they're full of minerals, they're alkalizing, they're really cleansing to your blood, cleansing to your liver really good for um, cleansing mucus out of the lungs and um, good for keeping things flowing in the digestive tract. Um, they're just a harmonizing food for the body. So I highly recommend eating greens and I'll talk more about the benefits of greens after I show you how to cook them. So usually as the greens are cooking, I just give them a little toss to make sure that they're all getting steamed or submersed in the liquid. The greens have been cooking for about two minutes. That's really all it takes. Swiss chard will cook a little quicker than kale and collards because they're more thin. Um, the thinner the green, the quicker the cooking time. Kale, collards, thicker greens might take maybe three to five minutes. But Swiss chard, spinach, um, arugula, uh, mustards will only take about two to three minutes. So the way to test the greens to see if they're done is just to take a fork and if the fork easily pokes through the greens then you know they're done. You just want them to be fork tender basically. Now I'm going to drain the water 
And I'm doing this all in the pan, so I'm not making any extra dishes to clean up. This is so easy. You could, of course, save that water and drink it later if you wanted to. So my favorite way to season the greens is I just use a little bit of olive oil. This olive oil is um, from some olive farmers that have 100-year-old olive trees in California. It's really amazing quality. So I'm just pouring on a little bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons, and then my Favorite seasoning, umiboshi plum vinegar. I could not live without this stuff. I love it. I use it all the time. It's very alkalizing, very good for digestion. So I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit and then taste it. You don't want to use too much. It's a sour, sour, salty vinegar. I added umiboshi plum vinegar to this and olive oil. It's very simple. Um, I love umiboshi plum vinegar because it has such a unique flavor. It's got a sour, salty taste, which is really different than anything else. It's also very alkalizing and very good for digestion. So my greens are done, and now I'm going to taste them. It's going to taste a little bite. They're pretty hot. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. I can taste the olive oil. You can taste the plum vinegar. It's perfect. So I'm going to dish myself up a bowl. Oh, I feel better already. To your health. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.